Roadside Crosses is about a, um, an incident of cyberbullying um, in which a young man who was uh, found innocent in a car crash nonetheless is vilified by the community. Uh, the young man snaps. He goes crazy after all this uh, terrible cyberbullying. He um, gets a gun, disappears, and what happens? But roadside crosses start appearing around the area, not as memorials of accidents that have happened, but of murders that are yet to come. Catherine Dance, my heroine, has one day to track down what's going on and stop him before he kills again. Roadside Crosses is very similar to my, uh, my typical Jeffrey Deaver book. My theory is to write a roller coaster. These are thrillers. These are not sociologic studies about the internet, about crime. They are stories that I hope will grab my readers by the lapels and drag them kicking and screaming from the very beginning to the very last page. And so it's a bit of a, a formula, and I'm very proud to say it's a, a formula. Um, they take place over a very short period of time, a couple days. Uh, there are lots of twists and turns and a big surprise ending followed by another big surprise ending followed by another big surprise ending because I love my surprise endings. Yeah, I hear because I've ripped everything he's written. He's one of the few writers who actually manages to capture my imagination throughout a book. His details are very good and so uh, all the books I own of his I've got signed in the past and I thought I'd do the same with a new one. just really enjoy his writing. His, every book I've read has always kept me captivated from you know, front to cover to the end do about a book in a day if I get really into it. <laughs> I'm not an author who writes for myself. I write for my readers. I gear my books to my readers, and when I come back and get this affirmation that they enjoy the books, they want them signed, like the fellow who was here with every single book I had written, every single book. He waited in line, he queued up, I think about nine this morning to see me. It means a lot to me, it really does. Jeffrey Deaver is a, an icon of mine and he's uh, one of my inspirations in starting to write myself and my first uh, book has just launched so I'm here to get a signed copy of his and hopefully ask him if he will accept a copy of my book. I began writing when I was about 11 years old, however I was not a published novelist until some years after that. I, um, I prefer the crime thriller genre because it allows me to do several things. I like to write a very fast paced story. I like to write a, uh, a story that involves current social issues like the internet or um, illegal immigration, things like that, a government intrusion into our lives. Um, and they all have to do with um, a certain element of um, what, we've, what we're all familiar with, with modern day criminology. For instance, Lincoln Rhyme, my hero from The Bone Collector, which was a successful film a few years ago, is a uh, forensic scientist, uh, sort of the fellow you'd see on CSI, for instance. And I've written about eight books in that series. Well, my other heroine, Catherine Dance, who was in Roadside Crosses, as well as in the, uh, the book Sleeping Doll, which came out a few years ago, is a kinesics expert. That's a body language expert. And she solves crime through, I guess I'd say, the psychological technique of talking to witnesses and the suspects. So in that way, I pretty much got the entire crime world covered.